It's been a couple of weeks since everything blew up between Mariah and me over the wedding and the car. After the initial fallout, we hadn't spoken much, just a few cold, terse texts, mostly about our parents trying to mediate the situation. I was still hurt, and every time I thought about how casually Mariah excluded me from her wedding, I felt that familiar knot of resentment tightening in my chest. But then, out of the blue, Mariah asked to meet up in person. At first I wasn't sure if I even wanted to go. I had already made my peace with the fact that our relationship would never be the same, and frankly, I wasn't in the mood to hear more excuses about why the wedding guest list was too tight for her own sister. Still, something in her voice sounded off, more vulnerable than I'd ever heard her before, so I agreed to meet her at a quiet cafe near my place. When I arrived, she was already there, nervously stirring her coffee, her eyes red like she'd been crying. As soon as I sat down, she blurted out, I need to tell you the truth about why I didn't invite you to the wedding. Her voice was trembling, and I could see she wasn't trying to hide the guilt anymore. This wasn't going to be another story about space or intimacy. Something was different. I leaned back, crossing my arms, waiting for her to continue. She took a deep breath and started talking, her words coming out in a rush. It's not because of the guest list or the size of the venue, it's because of Jake. I blinked, confused. Jake? What does he have to do with this? Mariah swallowed hard, clearly struggling with whatever it was she needed to say. She said, A few months before the wedding, Jake and I were having drinks, just talking about high school, life, stuff like that. He was a bit drunk, and he admitted something to me that night. He told me he used to have a crush on you in high school. I stared at her, not sure where this was going. A crush? I barely even knew Jake in high school. Mariah nodded quickly, I know. I didn't really think anything of it at first, but the way he talked about you, it stuck with me. She paused, biting her lip. He said you were smart, popular, pretty. He talked about how you worked on that biology project together and how he asked you out for coffee after. He said you didn't give him the time of day. Suddenly, it hit me like a wave of cold water. I remembered that biology project. Jake and I had been paired up and I'd always been a little envious of how effortlessly smart he was. He was quiet, a bit nerdy, and we never really talked much outside of class. I also vaguely remembered him mentioning getting coffee afterward, but to me, it was just coffee. I didn't even think of it as a date. In my mind, it was just something people did after working together on a project. He'd never given any indication that it meant more to him. I shook my head, feeling a mix of disbelief and frustration. Mariah, I didn't even know he had a crush on me. I thought we were just classmates. I had no idea. Mariah looked down, ashamed. I know, but after he told me that, I couldn't stop thinking about it. About you. You've always been the smart one, the successful one. You went to college, got this great job, and I... Her voice cracked as she spoke. I just started comparing myself to you. I spiraled. I thought, what if he's still thinking about you? What if he's looking at you on our wedding day and wondering, what if? I convinced myself that if you were there, it would ruin everything. My heart dropped. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Mariah, you didn't invite me to your wedding because you were jealous? Of me? She nodded, tears spilling down her cheeks. I know it's stupid. I know I was being irrational, but I couldn't stop myself. The closer the wedding got, the more I worried that he'd compare us, that he'd still feel something for you. And I hated myself for thinking that, but it consumed me. So I decided it would just be easier if you weren't there, if he didn't have to look at you. I sat there stunned. I'd never seen myself in competition with Mariah. She was my baby sister, the one I used to share secrets with late into the night, the one I always believed in and supported. It had never occurred to me that she felt overshadowed or insecure in my presence. I didn't even give Jake a second thought back in high school. And now, that small, innocent moment from years ago had caused this deep rift between us. Mariah, I said quietly, struggling to process everything. I never had feelings for Jake. I barely knew him. I've always been so happy for you two. I would never... My voice broke as I realized how deeply she had hurt me, not just by excluding me from her wedding, but by letting jealousy and insecurity poison our relationship. I'm your sister. How could you think I would ever try to take something from you like that? She sobbed openly now, wiping her tears with the back of her hand. I know, I'm so sorry. I let my own fears ruin everything. I was so afraid of losing him, of not being good enough, I didn't want him to look at me and think he'd settled for the lesser sister. I reached across the table and grabbed her hand. You didn't have to do this, Mariah. I love you. You're my sister. You didn't have to push me away. She squeezed my hand, crying harder now. I'm sorry, Sarah. I should have never let this happen. I know I messed up. 
and I don't know if you can ever forgive me, but I had to tell you the truth. I didn't know how to respond. I was hurt, deeply, but I could see how much she was suffering from her own choices. And more than anything, I missed my sister. We sat there in silence for a long time, holding hands across the table, trying to bridge the gap that jealousy had driven between us. I still don't know what the future holds for our relationship, but at least now, I finally understand the truth. It's messy, complicated and painful, but maybe, just maybe, we can start to heal.